how are you students uh on this short video of mine i want to show you how you use the set square uh and the ruler to find the maximum and minimum points uh on this subtopic of optimization so what you need to do as you can see this is a search line as i explained earlier this is the graph you yeah, they just talked about and um, what you need to do from here is to use a search line uh, to find the maximum and minimum points now what you do you, some of you might have learned that in form one but it's also good to uh, learn from uh to, to learn right now so that you can be able to uh, solve this kind of questions so what you do take your square set square this is your set square uh, put along this search line take your ruler here and make sure it's firm so what if you want to get the uh, maximum point you move up uh, depending on how it's done so in my case i'll move up so you see when i move up like this i'll reach one point first the meeting point which is here this point is the meeting point but i've not yet reached the maximum point so what i do i continue as i continue this way i'll meet here which again is not my maximum point because I'm not yet reached the maximum point. So I move again like this until I reach the maximum point, which is here. So this point will uh, be my maximum point. Now, you see, when I come back, I'll see come back with a line. So this is how you get the maximum point. Now, when you want to get the minimum points, you come down like this. Uh, make sure this ruler of yours is uh, firm. So you come along the same direction, the different direction or, or the opposite direction. So come down. Uh, this way until you reach the, my, the, the, the farthest points on the lower side so you see this point will be your minimum so that's how you get your minimum point and maximum point using a set square and a ruler so you see this is how you move your set square uh, and your ruler is uh, at this stationary point so in that case so your maximum point uh, this will be this now uh, from your graph you'll be able to get um, 60 uh, from what you get from your graph I suppose you're supposed to get 40 60 and the minimum point you're supposed to get 30 20 so from there now you can apply uh, from the uh, objective function then you can substitute on this and you'll get your maximum and minimum points and the maximum values you do want. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.